Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mindful Marathon Conversations. I'm your host, Dr. Michelle Quirk. I'm a pediatrician and a run coach and the founder of Mindful Marathon, where I help make running easy and fun for busy professionals. And today I have a very, very special guest with me, um, one of our Mindful Marathon athletes who is running her first marathon um, coming up very, very soon. So um, Stacy Cohen, welcome to the show. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> well, tell us a little and, and bit. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you for making me sure I can do this. <laughs> it's my pleasure and honor. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself and, um, and then we'll get into this whole marathon thing. <laughs> okay, so this is my very first marathon. Um, I am new to running-ish, like within the past two years. Um, I, you know, I used to lie to get out of running in like middle school. And now here I am voluntarily going to do this. Um, I started running um, because I wanted to race triathlon. So I started running and it was just short distances. So mm -hmm. um I was racing triathlons and then um, I made running friends in my community, which sounds crazy to me because running friends just sounds <laughs> crazy. Because if you know me, you would know that the thought that I would hang out with people who would run is also crazy, let alone run <laughs> myself. Um, and we started running together and then it became social and then it became like so much more. Um, and it like, you know, training and running got me like through the first few years after my divorce and I had two young kids at home. So that was like my me time. Um, and then my friend said, we're going to run a marathon. And I said, no, you're going to run a marathon. I'm not. <laughs> and she did it. And she did dopey because she's the kind of friend who if she's going to do it that's what she would do um and it was one of the best experiences I know she had and she said I swear my coach Michelle can teach you to run a marathon she was convinced and she convinced me so I was thinking about it and I was thinking about it um when I found out that an organization that is meaningful to me which is share share it um had bibs for New York and a friend of mine sent me an email from Cher Sherritt talking about that they had bibs for New York and that my friend had already told them at Cher Sherritt that they should <laughs> give me one of their bibs. I and that this. afternoon, that afternoon, before I had any time to think about it, I was on the phone with Ellen from Cher Sherritt and she told me how it works and she offered me a bib and now here I am racing the New York City Marathon for Cher Sherritt. And Amazing. the reason, the reason <laughs> why Cher Sherritt is because um, I have recently had friends who have lost parents and I have um, aunts and cousins that have had breast cancer or metastasized breast cancer. And Share Share It is a Jewish organization that provides support to families, to families facing cancer. And so that's, that's why I'm doing it. And now I just have to survive, but I figure it's nothing compared to these, you know, friends of mine who are family who are fighting cancer marathon should be easy so here we go <laughs> wow I didn't know actually okay so I've been working with Stacey but I didn't know the whole the whole backstory of how you sort of got roped into New York <laughs> um let me go back Yeah, I, I swore I was never running a marathon like I, I did I did mostly Olympic distance triathlons and I'm a cyclist so for me the the the, the bike ride is like a break. I know you're not supposed to say that, um, but the bike ride is like a break and then you just like have to survive the run and then you get a trophy. So I was in. <laughs> I've, I've done a you couple, know I'm big on the medals I know I know you're big on the medals yes <laughs> I've done a couple of sprint triathlons and I remember I definitely felt like the odd one out because people would be like oh what's your favorite part and I'd be like uh the run and everybody was said like no one oh. ever I said no no yeah yeah no <laughs> no triathlete ever <laughs> no I was very honest about it but 
but through that process though I I learned that I really enjoyed the swim actually like that that was a surprise for me I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did so that was really fun but I'm really happy that you found your way (laughs) to the road race (laughs) um and a marathon of of all things um but yeah I mean uh did you did you think ever maybe that you would want to run in New York City or it was it was the whole sequence of events that was New York City (laughs) so it I'll tell you so a couple of reasons and then a couple of reasons since then so uh, a couple of reasons leading up to thinking okay maybe I would really do a marathon um that I wanted to run New York. The, the first and biggest reason is because even though you wrote me an email today about my next marathon, which kind of blew my brain out, um, I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to run a marathon, I'm for sure only got one in me, so I better do it, like do the big one. And to me, um, having grown up in New York and I live in Florida, um, New York is the big one. So to me, New York was going to the, be the big one. Um, and I, you know, my whole life I've known about the New York City Marathon. I mean, it shuts down the whole city. Mm-hmm. Um, at, everyone watches the marathon. Even people who don't run come outside <laughs> and cheer. So um, I figured if I was going to be one and done, I, I ought to go big into New York City. Um, and then last year I did the New York City Triathlon. And my grandmother, who was 92 at the time, um, saw me on TV and (laughs) that was like huge to her. She, she couldn't even believe it. Um, And so then in February, this past February is when I found out I would do New York. And then in March, I went for her birthday and told her that I was going to run the New York City Marathon and she passed away in May. So, so I'm I'm sorry to hear this from the whole city. (laughs) Yes. Oh my gosh. What a wonderful thing. And I I know that you'll keep her with you like during this whole, this whole marathon. Oh, that'll be extra, extra special. Yeah. Well, because, and to me going to New York ever since, you know, I moved out when I was 16. And so to me in all of my adult life, I'm 38 now, um, has been going back and bringing my kids back and, you know, has been going to see her she lived there Mm -hmm. her whole life you know she grew up in the Bronx she lived in Brooklyn she moved to Long Island after she got married so it'll be it'll be awesome wow oh this is so great um (laughs) can I ask you I know we're not we're not done with training yet but so far what has been maybe the biggest um surprise you know positive or negative about the training (laughs) Oh gosh, all of it. I was so not prepared. So, I mean, it sounds like such probably a silly thing to say, um, but it has been a humbling experience. Um, I am a lawyer. Um, I think a very good lawyer. I am a mom. I think a pretty good mom. Um, And athlete was not on the list, but I figured I would train and I would do it And, you know, when I trained for triathlons, it's not that it was easy, but it was trainable. And then I trained for my first half marathon and it wasn't easy, but it was doable. And in my head, I was like, all right, this is two half marathons. This is not two half marathons. So I think the most surprising thing to me is how difficult it is. It's hard physically. It's hard mentally. Like I told you earlier this morning, um, five Please, weeks away yes, from the share race. The, share the story. It's and, okay. And I was a mile. I was a mile and a half into my run today, ready to quit and text you that I'm not doing this. That this was stupid <laughs> and that I can't do it. And you know, I'm training in South Florida. It has been very difficult to train this summer. We have had record heat, um, record humidity. And it's been really hard. Um, You know, those whys that are supposed to get you through training don't feel as strong when you're on the side of the road thinking there's a good chance you might die. Um, And then I don't know what happened this morning, a mile and a half in, all of a sudden there's some breeze and I had my two fastest miles that I've had, you know, the whole time I've been training because I just, there was a, there was a 
switch that flipped. And then I was like, okay, I can. So the roller coaster of that has been surprising too. I go back and forth. I'm between emailing you that I quit, <laughs> that I'm not doing this, that I'm not going to survive. Um, asking what time they're going to kick me off the course to after today telling you, I can totally do this. I'm pretty sure I can even do it in the amount of time I allotted. So it's a, it is a roller coaster. And I think, I think it's that way um, for everyone in just different, different aspects of the training, but it, it's also a good lesson though, that how you feel, you know, maybe when you start out on a run and it's seeming bad does, doesn't mean that the entire run is going to feel like that like we can't always trust it in the in the first mile or two even like it's, right. a, it's a really good lesson like for anybody who's done a long run on a hot day um sometimes you can't always trust how you feel at the beginning yeah you <laughs> can't kind of like get in the group <laughs> and and it brought me back to you know today you told me you can't always trust the first few miles. And then I know at other times you've told me, run the mile you're in, run the mile you're in. And I, you know, I put those together today and I was like, all right, this doesn't feel right now, but this isn't the way it's going to be. Um, so that's helpful. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I mean, we've been talking a lot about, yeah, kind of getting, getting through those miles that you've never run before that you don't have to go 26 miles or even 20 miles in training really to be able to do the marathon but there's a definite leap of faith there um, for sure a leap of faith I have been telling everyone who I speak to about the marathon Michelle says if I can run three and a half miles I can run seven miles <laughs> and I'm just repeating it until I'm sure it's true <laughs> you'll get there you'll get there I mean yes but you're right um and and I think Another good good point is that um, a marathon isn't two half marathons. I I do think um, there's a lot that goes. It's kind of like the... three. It feels like three races to me so far. Well, that's a good thing we could talk about in terms of like splitting up the race, like for race day. But yeah, thinking of it as three different parts is actually very smart. <laughs> um, in terms of yeah, like how you're going to approach it mentally, and then the fuel and the hydration and like all of those tactical things like I think a lot of people you you can sort of fake your way through a half marathon I mean I wouldn't recommend it and I would still train for that but it's a little bit more forgiving um but a marathon right. is not so it, but when you sign up for one yeah you don't you don't take it lightly and you didn't and you're raising money for this amazing organization right I have you and I have a team. I mean, I'm running with Share Share It. So there'll be people from all over the country in New York running, you know, in our pink team Share Share It shirts who are all there for the same reason. They've all raised money for the organization, um, which makes that that's a fun part of it, too, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Are they based in New York, Stacey? They're in New York, but they have offices all over the country. Okay. They do have a Florida office. They're mainly they're I, I think they're biggest and most well known in New York and New Jersey um mm -hmm. probably just because that's where Jewish people are concentrated but they're <laughs> they're throughout the country okay. and there's no place they don't provide services Amazing. Um, so that's that's good to know and it's a resource you don't have to be Jewish to use the resource um but we know right uh, about cancer um that the you know Cancer is almost one of those Jewish genetic diseases now. We know more about BRCA gene and everything like that. And um, so Share yeah. Share It is Share Share It does education, Share Share It does programming, um, and really is there to support families while they go through it. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like amazing work that they do. Um, could you tell everybody, I guess, first where they could donate to the cause and then also to find out more information about them? <laughs> Absolutely. So shareshareit.org is their, um, is their organization page. It's S H A R S H E R E T. Um, and you know, there you can see team share, share it. There's places where you can donate and, um, I'm raising money for the New York city marathon. So, um, my name is Stacy Cohen and there's a link directly to my fundraising page so that anyone who wants to donate directly through my page to the New York marathon can do that. And you can do that just by searching it. 
I'll um, leave it here too, Stacy. I'll leave it in okay. the um, the comments um, and attach it where when we share this on social media too. So it'll be easy. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. I'm about halfway to my fundraising goals. So I'd like, I'd like to get there prior to the marathon. We'll get you I there. keep we'll telling you everyone, there. everyone's <laughs> like, oh, you're training for a marathon. And I'm like, yes. And there are two ways you can help me. One is you can come give me some miles on my long run days so that I'm not out there alone and I keep going. And the other way is to donate to my share share page. I love that. I love that. Oh, well, thank you so much for, for joining me and for, for sharing. Thank about you this. for having me of and course. coaching me. My I, pleasure. Couldn't, I couldn't be doing this without you. That's for sure. Well, you know what, maybe what we can do, well, after this is all done and over with, maybe we can do another one about the whole experience. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Once I've survived. <laughs> all right. Which you will. You'll not only survive, you will thrive. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and thanks everybody uh, for joining us. I will leave those links below and we will catch you on the next episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this episode. If you liked it, please subscribe and share it with a friend. And if you are a newer runner or a runner who hasn't run in a while and you're looking to get back into the sport, you can find out how to work with me over on my website, which is mindful-marathon.com. See you on the next episode.